Right now, one of the Conservative MPs competing to be the next Prime Minister has been setting out her vision for the UK economy this morning. Andrea Leadsom, who is an energy minister, says what the UK needs is prosperity, not austerity, with higher wages for working people. I am with you. And I want you to share in the great future for this country. I want to see better training, smarter working, yes, and higher pay for the many. I want to lead a nation where anyone who aims high can achieve their dreams. Let's talk to our political guru, Norman, who is at Westminster. What else did she have to say, Norman? Well, Vic, I think she was trying to give us her pitch, and it's basically that she sees herself as the sort of sunny-side-up candidate, the candidate with the spring in the steps who thinks it's going to be absolutely fine, no need to be down in the mouth, snap out of it, guys, life's going to carry on with the fifth biggest economy in the world. People are still going to want to trade with us. GDP, she predicted, would keep on going up time to end austerity start talking about prosperity so it was kind of trying to put a you know a sort of an upbeat message on the aftermath of the referendum in terms of nitty-gritty I have to say we got pretty much zilcho the only a uh, couple of things we got was she reaffirmed her commitment to say to EU migrants look you're okay you can stay obviously contrasting with what Theresa May has said and saying to farmers look don't worry you'll still get the same amount of money as you go through the common agricultural policy. I think the difficulty with it was this, though. I mean, she is by and large an unknown. Most people don't really know much about her at all. And if this was her sort of presenting who she was, what she was about, then crikey, it was a bit of a short presentation because we only got, what, about four and a half minutes and there were no questions or anything. So, you know, if you want to kind of set out your vision, you want to tell the public what you're about, struck me as a bit of a missed opportunity. Okay, well, that's interesting. Um, tell us what next, then, in this Tory leadership uh, and British Prime Minister race? Well, I mean, I'm thinking she probably will go through to the final two, which will be decided tonight. And, of course, then you have the ballot of party members. And the reason I say that is there seems to be a real stop led some campaign building up so there's been a lot of stuff floating around about her cv whether she's talked it up there have been suggestions she's got ties to ukip she's been hammered for not publishing her tax returns but above all last night we actually got proof that there are moves to try and get some of theresa may's many many supporters to vote for michael gove to make sure that andrea ledson does not get on to the final ballot now that is being done not really by Mrs May's supporters, but by Michael Goves, who has texted about a dozen of uh, his pals last night who were voting for Theresa May to say, please, 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 you know, don't vote for Andrea Ledson because if it goes to a pallet of party mem members, she could win just like IDS, Ian Duncan Smith wins. So there's a real sort of little undercurrent of dirty tricks going on in this campaign. Thank you very much, Norman. Thank you. Uh, Norman Smith reporting.